Welcome to our kitchen. Yes, and another episode of Cocktail Friday. We are making a maple bourbon smash. Yes. I'm really excited because I started this journey with a lot of maple. And the great part is, is this is a really, really simple cocktail. So easy. It takes about five minutes. It's like four ingredients. Yeah, it's super, super basic. The recipe we're gonna give you is for two. We're gonna double it, but if you're doing it by yourself or you just want one at a time or whatever. Split it in split half. Split it in half. Two ounces of maple syrup. This is a real Canadian maple syrup, Vermont maple syrup, but it's real maple syrup. It's two ounces. We have two ounces of freshly squeezed lemon juice. We have a lemon peel garnish. We've got our glasses with ice in them. We've got some Evan Williams, delicious bottled and bond bourbon. Yeah, so how much and what's the proof on this guy? Uh, so this is 100 proof and you're supposed to use four ounces for two cocktails. Awesome, and about how much it is and is it findable? Extremely findable. It's a great, great, great mixer for cocktails. Very easy drinking. It doesn't overpower for people who don't want a super strong bourbon in their cocktails. A little bit more mellow, a little, a little spicy, a little more sweet, nice and mellow. Uh, Evan Williams is really easy to do uh, to find. It's it's like twenty bucks a bottle, seventeen bucks a bottle, something like that. It's really, really affordable, and it's bottled and bond goodness. So we've got a shaker cup. We're not even going to shake it. It's super easy. Uh, let's get the bourbon first because why not? We're going to do four ounces of bourbon. Didn't spill any. Now that we're in the speakeasy and we're in the kitchen, I can spill all I want. Watch it. I won't spill a single drop today. Now that we got four ounces of bourbon in here, Jamie, lemon juice and maple syrup. Us. Two ounces of maple syrup. Yep. Ooh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> You get every drop, huh? All right, can you uh, fill us with ice? Yes. And then we'll stir it up and we're done. Even though we are using a shaker cup, we are not going to shake it. You actually stir it about 20 times. So let's go ahead and stir it up. I got a nice big fat spoon. Now the only tricky part about using uh, maple syrup directly as an ingredient in a cold in a cold cocktail, cold beverage, is that it has a hard time mixing up. Okay. So make sure you make get you know you're getting stuff off the bottom. Make sure it's not sitting there on the bottom. And real maple syrup is going to actually mix easier than the like uh, the the fake you know the the sugary non. 100% uh, real maple syrup. All right, you ready? Yes. So now we are going to get our beautiful glasses and let's drain it out. Let's strain it out. Ooh, that looks good. Let's make sure yours is nice and full. Yeah. Hopefully mine is still nice and full. And it's not. You're going to have one. <laughs> the dangers of making two cocktails in the same batch. Lastly, we're going to garnish with some lemon peel. Will you garnish me, please? Thank you so much. Nice. Wow. All right. Take a look at these guys. Cheers. Cheers. That's really good. I like that a lot. That's good. It's like a like if you like a whiskey smash or a whiskey sour, but it's like really smooth compared to it because of the maple syrup that kind of kind of softens the lemon, makes it a little bit easier sipping. I'm a fan. <laughs> I'm a big fan. So that's a winner. Well, guys, if you like what we're doing here on Beyond the Row, please subscribe to the channel. Smash that like button if you like cocktail Fridays. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time. Hey, God. What's up, Jamie? How are you doing? I'm good. Welcome back to another episode of Cocktail oh, Friday. Today we're doing no, a do maple again. bourbon <laughs> smash. And I am I'm I'm so, so I'm ready. So sorry. I've been ready all day to do I this. Know, You're making a maple bourbon smash. Maple bourbon smash. That's exactly or what a, I said. Or a bourbon maple smash. First. Back a year ago.